Hello everybody, welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Factorio. How are you all doing? Let's carry on with where we left off. So, we are going to add to this stone thing here. So let's see here. Basically very easy, we're just kind of building the same kind of idea as before, all right? Where we'll bring the stone up and then we'll probably bring it over. I might actually build this a different way. Yeah, we're going to build this a different way. Instead of vertically, we're going to do it horizontally because yeah, because that's just going to work out better. I think I can use R to turn these. Yes. Uh, shift R. Oh yeah, I can too. Uh, I want to go Shift R. Okay. So let's see here. So that's what we're doing. We are placing these like this. Because it's just going to work that much better if we can kind of bring the materials across instead of trying to cut into the space up here. Because we know we want to build some more processing up there for iron. So stone is not so much important. It is, but it's not. Stone's more for your walls and stuff like that. So yeah, so we'll do this like this. Oops that up place these down come on I'm missing okay we got that like that then we need to power this up so we can do this 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 and this then we can put a light and a light you can bring the power directly from across we'll just go straight across like this uh what just like that yeah i like that that looks good okay and then we can place a light here and then maybe here okay cool i usually like to place lights at every other light pole as well just because i find the light really makes it helpful you do my best to place them I'm glad that that worked out. That was amazing. Okay, so we have this stuff here. Now we need to bring it across. Okay. And then we'll bring it straight. Like this. And then we'll bring it up. Okay. That's kind of how we'll deal with it. We'll, we'll deal with it in here somehow. I'll wait for the new the new advanced processing before we do anything with that. And then down here... While we wait, we need to chop up these trees because these trees are in the way. Definitely, definitely. And that music, I wish I could kind of have it always going, but it comes and goes and comes and goes, and I think it's part of the ambience of the game, or it's supposed to be. So we'll kind of move this or remove all this stuff because it is going to get in the way of the turrets. That's another thing we have to be wary of. Forgot about that a little bit, so we'll kind of make some room going downwards here. This is, uh, this is exactly what I mean about this game. Like, you can completely forget about what you were doing originally, and then you kind of come around to a big circle to it, as you find a few other things that you need to take care of. And I definitely recommend this game to all of you looking at this to buy it, because it is an amazing game. The developers have done a lot of consistent updates. They've been just very good with, with all of that. And they're very smart. I would say they're very smart developers. Oh, and, and I think I mentioned you have your drinks and your tasty treats. Uh, make sure you grab those. Make sure you pause and grab those because you're going to need those. <laughs> uh, I should be more consistent with that. But, yeah, I'm learning. Still learning. It's always fun even though I've been doing it for a while it's still it's like every day is is new you know it's just how it goes see how these bullets are being made now kind of want to fill up the uh, nice I want to fill up the ammo on these turrets up here I know we didn't have to but we did and now there's no biter bases in those areas is nice that turret might actually help to 
keep them away or if we know that this turret's being engaged we know that there's biters over there and we know that we have to deal with them so that's another indicator like that i can't wait to deal with this uranium it's so much fun there's some cool stuff with the uranium there's like uranium enrichment and ah uh, man glad that they expanded they basically took one of the mods and added it to the core of 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 the game which is nice i'm glad that they did that but in the same note why does it take a mod for the developers to add something is it because the developers never thought of it or or did they not think that people would like it and so because there's a mod it's like oh okay people like this so we'll take the most popular mods add them to our game it's almost like they do that on purpose to gather more information from the consumer to determine exactly that so let's see here let's run down it's gonna and look for some more ammo because again we just burn through the ammo 200 ammo is basically just four turrets so for a limited time Let's see here yeah well we got we got ammo we got ammo but it's still still long process so we're almost done the advanced material processing yay and then we're going to upgrade all of this stuff here there's no point in building this new area here because I'm not too sure how that's going to work. I'm not too sure how that's going to work either. So what do we usually do when we wait? Well, usually we can tour the base to make sure that your miners are operating. And if there's anything that's not, you remove them. So you usually remove the depleted ones because then you can use those miners somewhere else. Plus it doesn't cost you any energy. Not that it does anyways, but... If you can build the less miners, then you don't have to continue building them, basically, right? And we're going to throw some more wood, because well, wood is an amazing fuel source. And we have so much of it on our map. I wish you could take the wood and process it and turn it into, like, a coal. <laughs> but unfortunately, we can't do that. Just kind of watching these, the iron here, because the iron is going away quite quickly, but that's fair enough. I don't think it's really going too quickly. We could always add more research, so I think we might do that. We might build one, two, three, four, five. So there's five of these, right? It looks like this is operating. So we can build maybe three more, three more of these of the research labs one two three i think we need iron copper and steel so let's grab all the steel iron copper okay grab all of that stuff that's exactly what i want this is going to go bye bye soon oh so exciting look at this so close <clears throat> so close I'm just watching the steam. You see every once in a while the steam thing light up? I think that's just because of the the burner inserters there that we have that we're using. Because I, I use burner inserters for the steam engine array. Um, I'm not sure why. Well, usually because that's your first thing that you built. And so you don't need very many of them. You just need enough to power the burners, the burner inserters to to put the materials into the the steam furnace i want to say that this is boiler boiler steam furnace <laughs> boiler so oh here we go here we go this is what i was looking for so what is going to be next hmm? logistics give us better belts a very long time you can do concrete this is what we can use basically iron ore stone bricks for and water is we can make concrete and which then leads to oh look at that looks like uranium and all this stuff it leads to this thing what's it's this thing nuclear power which then you can do all this kind of stuff so maybe that's what we'll do but then we need blue science packs hmm so we also need plastics which means we need oil processing okay so we need something to advance this stuff. This is lab research speed. 
and uh, let's that's a thousand thousand so i'm just kind of looking at the 800 400 for four 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 this is 200 only and i think this is just the red the red ones so with that in mind let's get the oil processing done because we're going to need plastics i don't really want that though because it's and what do i have that can make hmm, the, the military science packs because now they're different all right here military science packs uh piercing rounds grenades and gun turrets Whew. Whew. really piercing rounds we can make the piercing rounds but we gotta put them on a belt and then we need a gun turret which we make grenades that will require the sulfur or coal and iron okay that's not too bad okay well grenades we can make right here you just do it right here all right and we'll create a box for it like so and then we will just i don't know this 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 we only want stack maybe of it do two stacks and let's pick grenades and now we can power this bad boy oh it's so weird where do we want our power we need two we need two lines one line here and one line here Okay, so that is going to make that. Let's put in a light. Yeah, okay. So, looks like we don't need the fast ones. Let's see if it can keep up. Let's see if we can keep up. So, it's more of the plates. 11, 12, 13... 14 15 yeah it looks like it is gonna keep up so we don't need the fast inserters yeah okay i think it's just barely it might slow down a bit but that's perfect that's perfect and so these are grenades which are useful yeah we definitely need to do steel so what do we need to make those new thingies where are they right here we need steel plates and stone bricks Ooh. so we have just enough one two three four we're gonna make four of those and we're gonna make some stone bricks it's not exciting i think it's very exciting so these produce a little bit more and i think they're the same size so which means that we're gonna probably want to do two, three probably want to do something like this one, two, three, like this, I think. And then we'll go up the middle, like so, All right? Maybe a little bit sloppy, but uh, see, that's too close. I don't like that. I like, I like space. I like kind of. You're making room for what you have but then i also don't like to overdo it so always give yourself room it never hurts to give yourself space you know extra two or three yeah it's a little bit bigger but it doesn't matter i think we'll do that i think here we're going to put put fast inserters so and we should be able to do these like so all right and then these would be able to just connect together like that okay and these are the bricks the bricks okay what do we need the bricks for again we need to build walls that's right and as well as something else what else do we need to build i think that's it so let's 
Let's get this going. I need I need another beverage here. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Let's see. So where do we want to put the power? We want to put it probably here and here. And then here and here. And then we just need to hook it in. Like so. Just like that. And then we want to light this bad boy up. Okay, see? So now it works way better. And we just kind of watch to see. I think it's non-stop with this. Yeah. I think the fast inserters will do just fine. Let's see what the power consumption is. Looks like... So production is at 50% still. Satisfaction. So I think we're meeting the needs. Because the needs of the base is 5 megawatts. And the steam engines should be able to handle that. So... And if we take a look at the timing here. This is kind of how you can see over the course of time kind of the activity their factory goes through. This is the production of the the power so you can kind of see as it's day and night and day and night right through the <laughs> the consumption or if there's a problem or if I switch it kind of helps you you figure that all out which is pretty cool. So we might have a problem where it favors the one side but that's fine. At least here we have a more stable amount to work with and I think for now we'll put it into here we'll do this and then we will simply put oh we don't have any more steel chest 5 10 15 20 so looks like we're gonna have to make more or get more steel which is fine so we need to make more. Oh yeah, that's right. We, uh, the bricks are easy. We just go blah, 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 pick up the bricks here. We need them all for more furnaces. Cause we're we're placing these right. That's eight, sixteen, twenty-four, thirty-two, forty, forty-eight, forty-eight for nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two. So we need fifty-two of those furnaces. <laughs> Do we have enough material? Of course not. Of course not. 52 of these bad boys. Let's see here. You can make 10. So 5, 10. Okay. Which means that we need to do this. To do that. I also need to add one. Oh no, we have that. So then we can add a regular one. We can do... We want about what 400 so let's put some of these back that way it doesn't have to build okay let's power this power there power there let's give it a light okay and then I need to siphon off some of the stone as well because yeah just kind of need to so we'll put that we want to put it near power. So where is power? We don't need a very fast siphon. So maybe we'll just siphon it from here. We'll put it into a box. Like so. And a stack is 100, right? So let's just, let's just keep it at a stack. And that way then all of this stuff can continue to produce. Now I did that so we can take from here and it doesn't steal from this too much. But it should be okay. We might want a faster one of these arms, but I think that'll be okay. So there you go. So there is our our stone production there. We've got that going again. And so up here is where we want to do the steel. So steel, steel, where are we? Right here. Just gonna place these and then we'll figure out what to do after. So one, three. So I think we're gonna do block of four. I think that's all that's necessary. That. 
which means that we're going to break off of here like so and we'll carry this up oh like so and then we'll do the same with this over here we'll break it off just before the wonderful split there or the yeah, this thing this is going to replace that let's actually do this let's just take this all apart okay have that now we can build this stuff here let's do some fast inserters that's the way of the future Okay, and then we can do normal ones to unload. And then, boom shakalaka. Okay, so this be steel. Then that means we can, our siphon, we need to rebuild our our siphon and I was just going to do one of these I'm going to do the same like down below and want 400 steel for myself and then the rest can carry on down the line let's power this bad boy yet again like we did down here right up here down here then I think like this that and that way we can light this up and put this like here cool there we go there we go our base is nice and lit up things are firing up nicely oh this is not powered this is not powered that's fine there could be a lot of wires everywhere but that's all right and so now with four of these bad boys it still goes very slow but exactly what what we need which is nice and I think this will allow it to build up and up here we have this thing taking and then there's still a whole a whole other line here it's just gears yeah we'll be all right we'll be all right this will continue to push over into that side okay it yeah, will be all right it's using up a lot of resources but that's to be expected I think we might have to add more of these, four more, because it doesn't seem enough. Hmm. And then we'll bring the steel. I'm not sure. We could spaghetti the steel like up this way, and then bring it up this way, and then we can kind of tie it into here and bring it up. But now we're going to be adding the width of this, and I don't know if I want to do that. Not sure how much more I want to bring the the bus up. We do have to redo the science labs. So I built three of these bad boys. One, two here, three there, because we need to redo all of this. So how do we do that? Well, let's cut it here, and then let's put our science packs in here. That way they get, uh, you know, that way they get used up. And then once they use these up and these all stop, we'll pick them up and then we'll re-divert this downwards and we'll place them down here somewhere. Um, let's see, how can we do this? Might have to move that power line. Just have to do something like this. Just get rid of that one. All right, that makes more room. Then we can kind of place these like this. One, two. We need the space. Let's do space. Cool. Once this uses these up, we'll be able to take these so we can actually start dismantling it's ever so slowly. <laughs> and these are slow. Did this one stop? So we can pick that one up and place that one here doesn't keep the research which is fine and we're going to bring them down this direction 
Okay. But see, we still have a problem because we have to jut it over a little bit. It's going to look funny, but it's going to fit. And that's all that matters. As long as this all fits, that's all we need. So let's see here. Let's take that out. How are the bullets coming? Do we need more bullets? We need to put more bullets in the turrets. Let's see here. Oh boy, that's nice. Nice healthy amount of bullets. So we'll and uh, this one looks like it's done. Uh, almost, almost. We need one blue or one green, but that's okay. So we can put one more like this. And I hate kind of interrupting the research because it's it's kind of counterproductive. But it's definitely necessary. And put one in here. Which did a whole extra one. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, let's see here. That one there for now. Okay, so this is doing its thing. It's doing its thing. Come on, guys. I know this is boring. It's like watching paint dry. I keep saying that. But that's what it is. That's what it is. We have four minutes left anyways around there, so I'm just going to fill up some ammo. And so, yeah, so that was a, a busy episode. I'm surprised. At least for me it was. It went by really fast. Didn't expect the, the half hour to go, well, to go quite like that quickly. <laughs> it's just unexpected. I was hoping to be able to sit here a little bit longer, gab a bit more, build a few more things, you know, just the, the usual usual funness that we do right uh, we might take out some more butter bases that one to the right here is awfully close i don't i don't like that it's not very comfortable that's like a new one so we're gonna have to take care of that one it's definitely gonna start attacking soon so this is why i've been building turrets <laughs> this is why i've been positioning them all around looks like this side is all nicely defended now all the way around yeah, it looks like I can continue placing turrets over here, which is cool. Um, how about over here? Let's chop down these trees. They're going to be in the way. That's incorrect. That's better. Ooh, let's do six. Perfect, so that fits nicely. So there you go, folks. I think I'm going to call it here. It's close enough. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this Monday episode. In the next one, we'll, we'll finish off doing this. And, yeah, and then we'll see what we have to do from there. So thank you, everybody, for watching. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye-bye.